So wiggly. Seven. Freaking pounds. I mean, six pounds thirty, which was. Ouch! It hurt. Hi guys, it's Basi, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy and excited to see you here, and I hope you like my content because if you don't, I kind of like cry at night. If you're like me, you've been spending way too much time on TikTok recently, and actually, there are some places that just keep popping up all the time. I want to review those places for you. We'll be going to Kuwa Kuwa Pancakes, Machi Machi, and Busa to have a super nice colorful latte. A little bit of story time. Before I came to London, I used to live in Milan where I studied, had the best hobby, I would say. It's, it wasn't really a job because I wasn't getting paid, but basically I was the brand ambassador of this page of Milano Food Guide there. And I had to go to different restaurants and also like take photos, write kind of like small review. And it was honestly the best job, not being a job ever. Today's video, I want to do something similar because I really, really miss it. important today is actually the last day when you can participate at my giveaway so if you haven't done that do it immediately you just have to subscribe to my channel and after that click on this link to register and you're done and the winner will be announced in the video next week I kind of hope there isn't a queue in front of the place because I saw that usually you wait like one hour to what? be seated with COVID so hopefully now there aren't so many people okay I'm starting to get a little bit worried because I see that some of the restaurants here have closed so I'm like really hoping that this place is not closed as well yay it's open oh there are actually people already and it opens at 11 a.m so like 15 minutes ago Inside it looks like a cloud and we also ordered from this QR code because there is no menu at the moment. And guys, fun fact about those Japanese pancakes is that I actually thought before that uh, they were super traditional from long time ago, <laughs> but it turns out that they're actually pretty recent and they were first, they first started doing them in 2014 in Osaka and there were two cafe places that were doing it, they got super famous and then they both opened in Tokyo and from Tokyo in 2016 after that it started spreading all around the world and all around through social media and I guess this is also why they're now here in London Covid. The really bad thing now is that if you have something on your in your throat, everyone like believes you have Covid, but it's just... So what? First things first, review of the Covid. Extremely watery. Yeah. I, and also by the time it got here, it was already cold. So wiggly. And this is mine in case... What did you get? Uh, I got it with like... Wait, is this, are these blueberries? Yes. Wait, are they? It's the cheesecake one, it's supposed to look Oh, good. right, right, right. Okay, yeah, this is mine. It's not last wiggly, but yeah, let's dig in. Look at that. Wow. It's really soft, isn't it? It's like a clown. Yeah, it's so soft, it melts in your mouth. It's like eating a cloud. Oh, it's really fluffy. Oh, it's really spongy. Boing. Now let's get some of this. It melts in your mouth. It's good. Oh, yeah, uh, I can feel like I, I need to eat something else. Extra tip, I've been to this bibimbap cafe and it's so good. So if you have the chance to come, definitely do it. And today is Ben's last day before going back to work. I don't wanna go back to work. So it's so much work. And you have your backpack turn. Back to school. <laughs> so. Yeah, you're required to go back to work and I'm like, yay, I'm so happy. No, I'm happy. And I don't want to say it again, but so French. Such a beautiful day today. Mm -hmm. And here is the British Museum. In case you want to come 
in the it's next all video. yours. I don't know, but I really like this building. But then look at down. Yeah, like you look down, you know, they're like working for under, under construction, so it looks a bit trash. Now we are walking to go to Machi Machi for apparently the best bubble tea, and I usually see such a big queue, so hopefully it will be worth it. I can't believe this. There is no queue first time let's go that's how it looks in the inside nothing special it's just take away this is the bubble tea from machi machi and it's creme brulee because this is what they suggested and we also got extra tapioca I'm actually kind of curious because i usually don't get bubble tea and this costed six pounds 30 which was ouch it hurt oh look at that mm. Top part, which is the creme brulee, it's Sorry. so delicious. It's super desserty. <laughs> I kind of like it, but I think the best part is the one which is on top. Mm, it's mm, very sugary. This is how it looks on top. I don't know what these bubbles are, but I like them. And the next day, I went to Busi Cafe that just opened in London. So guys, basically I got the iced lavender latte because this is the one that I saw the most on Instagram and I thought like, let's go for it. Turned out it's seven freaking pounds. I mean, it's very, very overpriced. The taste is okay, nothing special. And there is like actually pieces of lavender on top and it's kind of blue here. Taking you to Misato, it's a Japanese restaurant and it's basically where I usually go during lunch break. Like and we are at Ben's favorite. Oh, What's right. this? Okay, this is chicken tempeh rice. This is like sushi with avocado and salmon. And this is a miso soup. And all this was like around like 10 pounds. I don't know if like with service charge or not, but like, yeah, this is it. It's really good. Review, Review time. time. Let's start with our pancakes. For me, they were worth it because mine were for example eight pounds and i think it was fine because two were kind of filling for breakfast but at the same time service was definitely not great because we had to wait more than half an hour until they arrived seven out out of ten my pancake was more expensive but the extra ingredients were not worth the money so i paid two pounds extra for like a little bit of blueberries and like cheesecake six out of ten for the bubble tea it was definitely too expensive because it costed more than six pounds and it's again pretty much the same price as the pancakes and it's not filling it was interesting and i have to say that this was one of the few bubble teas that i actually liked because usually i'm not a big fan but still still not worth it so i would say that for me it was five out of ten i actually really liked it i would give it a seven out of ten because like i really like the like balls are really like chewy and lastly bossy cafe if you're eating in might be fine because the place it's super cute but at the same time I don't think I would be going there a second time. So I would give it 6 out of 10 and maybe 7 if you're eating in. The biggest actually worth it winner was the place which Ben suggested. Of course, yeah. Misato. Yeah, 10 out of 10, the not TikTok place. And I actually forgot to film the end of this video. But guys, don't forget to subscribe and join the giveaway. Love you loads. Bye!